Apparently, parents, advertisers, and news outlets seem to be under this strange delusion that they all understand the internet, what it is, and how it works. Anyone who spends pretty much most of their time online will tell you one simple fact. That is just not true. As a lot of you are aware of by now, these groups of people have been giving YouTube and the internet pretty much as a whole a hell of a lot of shit lately for reasons that quite frankly make no sense because honestly, they don't know what the hell they're talking about when it comes to the internet or even YouTube, which is a fraction of the internet in itself. Thus brings us to the point of this video. I'm in the process of making a video that will help you noobs out there understand the difference between mainstream consumer media and the internet. And then I'm gonna kind of rub it in your face by destroying the rating system that you guys have been practically trying to run it into the ground for like the last 20, 30 years for some reason. Every time something new comes along, you try to adopt it as sort of a secondary babysitter for your kids. Whether you're a parent or someone who looks after kids in a childcare or wherever the case may be. The moment that you realize the bad choice that you made you try to put the blame elsewhere. You try to blame YouTube for having parody content out there. You try to blame the internet for being the internet. Trying so hard to blame trailers that aren't represented for what the rating of the movie is, like Deadpool, for example. Yes, it is a superhero movie, but how difficult would it be to just look at the rating of the movie. In the States, it's rated R. In Australia, it's rated MA. It tells you exactly what is in the movie, yet you still complained because you took your kids to a movie without actually being a proper parent. Giving your kid unlimited access to the internet, 12 years old and younger, without any sort of monitoring whatsoever, just shows how much you don't care or don't want to care. Stop trying to blame other things and other people and other places and other technologies for your bad parenting and actually start being a parent. It shouldn't be up to YouTube to police that shit. It shouldn't be up to the internet as a whole to police that shit. Start taking responsibility for what you let your kids look at because this stuff I'm about to start showcasing to you in that video that I'm making will make you really question how you let your kids watch it in the first place. I will be reviewing a series of G-rated movies that are specifically targeted to kids and that you, you parents, you guys, deliberately let your kids watch. And if you, if you actually never let your kids watch it again, then okay, cool, kudos to you. But I guarantee you, most of you parents and any other people who wish to complain about certain content that's being made for the internet and on YouTube, saying that kids have access to it, this is a part of the mainstream consumer media, which is something that you pay for, which is something that you go out and you buy, like going to the movies or watching it on television or buying a magazine or buying a newspaper. That is considered as mainstream consumer media. The internet is not that. So keep an eye out for that video and I will hopefully see you when that comes out. So I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day, and until next time, peace. Blah, 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 blah.